again, everyone. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDrydocks.com, and I got a product review for you. Now, I've done one for this particular company before, but uh, he just launched a new product, and I am excited to share it with you. So, thanks for joining me. Let's take a look at what we've got here. All right, what we have here is a really unique design. This is a, a Russian boat, a Delta IV submarine from uh, the Russian Navy. And this is put out by a company called Zero Bubble Model Designs, a gentleman by the name of David Hughes out of Australia, down under, um, one, one fortieth scale. And that's a, a little bit odd, it's not a typical scale but from what i understand david chooses these just for uh, ease of manufacture ease of transportation and for maximum performance so if you're not a scale nazi this should be just fine for you at 1 one fortieth scale that makes it just a hair over four feet in overall length and just a hair under three and a half inches in beam so if you are looking to source a sub driver that would pair up nicely with this submarine you're going to be looking for probably the uh, two and a half inch diameter MSD or potentially if you want to work with a little bit less room uh, the 300 the three inch diameter but I would probably for this particular boat recommend a 250 250 250 two and a half inch diameter along the entire length of the boat now, uh, let's talk about how it showed up to me. Um, it showed up uh, well wrapped in bubble wrap, uh, but that was really it. It's not very typical when you, uh, you get a model submarine from any of the manufacturers for it to show up without a box, but this one did. Uh, and I am happy to say that there is absolutely no damage uh, that I can see for this particular boat. And obviously as an unfinished fiberglass product, uh, it's exceptionally durable. Uh, now, it is quite possible that through the course of shipping, particularly if it's coming from overseas, from Australia, um, some of the more delicate appendages, such as these stern cones, could potentially be damaged. But if that was the case, uh, I don't think it would be a terrible thing from a repair perspective. So we'll see if he continues along with that shipping manner or not. Uh, but regardless, it showed up perfectly fine for me. The hull comes in an upper and a lower half, and each of those is actually split, uh, as you can see there. The forward section of the upper and lower hull have a molded-in lip that is quite sizable, and that's great because it's got a lot of meat uh, to secure that rear section on with. And potentially, you could use that uh, in a Z cut uh, for hull access so you wouldn't actually have to do your own cut uh, in the submarine hull at least on the upper hull. Layup uh, is actually quite good. It looks to be a polyester resin versus an epoxy which again uh, is a little bit of a departure versus a lot of the other manufacturers out there but the layup quality is very good and it's a nice thin layup that's uh, very strong. I'm actually quite impressed with it. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll have known that I did review a couple of his other boats in the past. This is his newest offering, and I have to say the level of quality has exponentially improved. Previously, uh, you could see a lot of uh, sort of rudimentary scribing going on. Uh, it's much better in this particular boat. Now, you know, is it to the level of a museum quality replica? No, it's not. You know, there's going to be some cleanup. There are some trapped air bubbles that you can see. Uh, you can see some trapped air bubbles in there, but that is not a massive issue. You can easily file those out. Um, the scribing work is a little bit rough, but you know, these are all holes that need to be cut anyhow, ballast vents and, and such. So really that's not a big deal because you can make perfectly square openings there yourself. Sail comes uh, separately. This is a, a fiberglass layup as well. With a little bit of filing, you're gonna see a great mating to that missile deck 
of the Delta IV. And now let's take a look at these cast resin pieces. You know, again, it's kind of night and day compared to some of David's earlier work. Um, there are still, you know, a few little voids um, in, the, in the castings, but that can be built up with uh, filler. Not too worried about that at all. Uh, and actually the amount of air bubbles is quite small and the amount of flash is quite small as well. Uh, particularly impressed with these uh, cast resin propellers. They turned out really, really well. I think with a, just a little bit of cleanup with a file uh, and sandpaper, these are gonna look really great on the model. Now, uh, I am going to note uh, in the effort of being completely uh, open and honest, it does appear as though I am missing one of the rudders, the upper uh, rudders here. I've got my horizontal stabilizers and dive planes. I've got my lower rudder, my upper stabilizer, but no rudder to go with it. Um, I am absolutely sure that David is going to look after me. I'm not worried about that at all, but to be quite honest with you, I'm not even going to worry about it. Uh, you know, 10 minutes worth of work and I can fabricate my own out of some quarter inch plastic uh, or with a 3D printer if you wanted to do that yourself. But everything else uh, looks to be here, including all of the mast and periscope tops uh, that you would mount to aluminum tubing to create the uh, periscope assembly on the top of the scale. Also what comes is uh, actually a set of very comprehensive instructions and these are actually really professionally done. It has a lot of uh, 3D models uh, illustrated out here that shows you the assembly of the boat uh, from start to finish. Now this is the assembly of the hull. None of this obviously goes into any detail about the installation of any sort of running gear. And I'm glad because there is such a huge um, number of different options that you could use to power this particular boat. Um, but as I said before, this is a, a 1 1 40th scale Project 667 Delta IV Russian submarine. Beautiful little kit and well worth the money. All in all, I would say um, it is absolutely well worth the money that he's charging, um, which I'm gonna have at the bottom of the screen for you because I am just too scared to tell you that price uh, verbally. It's very cheap. If you're looking for an economical way to get into the hobby, man, this would be a great boat. Well, there you go, everyone. This is uh, my quick overview of the new product put out by Zero Bubble Model Designs out of Australia, Mr. David Hughes, 1 1 40th scale uh, Russian Delta IV submarine. Um, in summary, it's well worth the money. It's worth taking a chance on. Uh, grab it. It's going to build into a beautiful little model. My name is Bob Martin, the RC Sub Guy. I really thank you for joining me. If you like what you see, please subscribe. I put out new content constantly. Uh, for now, we're gonna let you go. I appreciate you, thanks for joining me. We will catch you next time.